Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create animated 3D saber streaks coming from behind a car, quickly and easily in After Effects. Let's get started. First let's click on track camera and wait for it to finish. Once the analysis is complete, I'll create a null and a camera right on the car. Next let's create a new solid layer. Let's name this solid saber. Now make it a bit bigger than the composition. I'm setting mine to 2000 by 2000 and hit OK. Next let's move the saber layer above the track null and then apply the saber effect to the solid layer. Under the saber effect, expand render settings and change composite settings to transparent. Next expand customize core and set core type to layer masks. Now grab the pen tool and draw a shape. You can follow mine or get creative and make your own. Once you're done creating the mask, enable 3D on the saber layer so it can follow the car. The tracking might be a little off, but we can fix it. Hold shift on your keyboard, then use the pick whip on the saber layer and drag it onto the track null layer. By parenting saber layer to the track null layer using the pick whip, the saber streaks will move along with the car, keeping the effect in the right position even as the car moves around in your scene. Now select the saber layer and press S on your keyboard to scale it until the saber is visible. Then adjust the X, Y, Z rotation, and positions, just avoid changing the Z position, or you'll break the tracking. Once you're done adjusting, you can also tweak the mask, make it longer or shorter, or even change its shape. I'm going to quickly adjust the X rotation a bit more because I'm not happy with how it looks right now. That looks much better. Next we'll adjust the saber's look by changing the preset, I like to set it to thin. Then I'll change the color to orange. Let's also toggle off the mask so we can see the saber clearly. Now let's quickly tweak the saber a bit more before animating it. I'll increase the core softness slightly, then boost the core size. Next I'll reduce the start size, maybe increase the end size to make the saber thicker, and also raise the end roundness a little. Now let's animate it. First scroll to the end of the video and click the end offset stopwatch to add a keyframe. Then scroll back to the beginning of the layer and set the end offset to 0%. Let's quickly preview the result. Nice, I'm happy with the animation, but we're not done yet, now we need to make the saber come from right behind the car. To do this, duplicate your original clip and move it above the saber layer. Rename the duplicated layer to Roto, and make sure to delete the 3D camera tracker effect from it. Next scroll to the beginning of the Roto layer, select the Roto brush tool, and double click on the Roto layer. Rotoscope the car as smoothly as possible. Once you're done, click the freeze button. After the freeze is complete, close the rotoscoping window. I'll smooth out the rotoscope selection by setting the feather to around 10, shift edge to minus 12, and increasing reduce chatter to 100%. Now we can check the result. It looks good, but let's make it even better. We can duplicate the saber layer to create two streaks. Move the Z position slightly so both lines are visible. It looks really good, but one issue has appeared that we need to fix. Pre-compose the roto layer and name it mask. Make sure both move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected, then hit OK. Now select the pen tool and mask out the front side of the car. In your case, it might be something different, just make sure to mask the area where the streaks will appear. Once you're done, press M on your keyboard and change the mask mode to subtract. Now you can see it's fixed and looks very natural. Next press F on your keyboard and add mask feather to soften it. I'll set mine to 20. Looks good. Now we need to track the mask so it follows the car. Scroll back a bit before the streak hits the car, then press M on your keyboard and click the mask path stopwatch to add a keyframe. Next scroll to the end of the layer and adjust the mask position so it covers the car slightly, like this. Let's preview the result. Everything looks amazing, I'm really happy with it. If you want different colors, just select one of the saber layers and change the glow color. And that's it, we're done. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.